how's it going guys um back with another stream with a little bit of rebranding if you notice on the bottom left starting to uh stream some more gruel mid-range so might as well just uh make it a little bit more accurate um but i know i've been known as an abzan player but i've been having a lot of fun with this gruel mid-range list um it's it like has enough disruption with like Magus on the Moon and it just it's aggro enough to go under a lot of decks and then at the same time like everything's kind of a two for one. And I think that's what kind of draws me to the deck because like against decks like Bant Snow and like Luris Midrange decks, like this deck can keep up with card advantage, surprisingly. Like Kitchen Finks is obviously a two for one, Tireless Tracker, um Lovestuck Priest and Bone Crusher Giants are two for one. Season Pyromancers is potentially a five for one or I guess it's not really a five for one, but like there's just a lot of value if you top deck this. Um, Glorybringer is subtly two for one because it attacks and then kills something. And then Clothis is just like. I think Clothis is starting to become one of my favorite cards because it just sits there and just like your opponent can't deal with it. And then it just eventually just wins the game as you kind of just control the board with the rest of your cards. Um, so the sideboard has been kind of changed up. I think I copied, I think I think his name is like Oscar Christensen, whoever top aided the. Modern Shadow with Ponzo. I took his exact 75, played a couple leagues with it, and I really liked it. I went 4 1s and 3 2s. So then I kind of modified the list a little bit. I don't think I changed the main at all, um, but except for the Hex Drinker, I cut the Hex Drinker for a Tireless Tracker. Um, I feel like with Tireless Tracker, you have more of a card advantage engine, and Hex Drinker kind of has a potential to win the game on its own, but there's been a lot of like Jund online and Hex Drinker doesn't really line out well against Running Six. And then I swapped the Cavern of Souls for a Kiss of Wolf Run. Um, I think when you don't have a Blood Moon in play, this card just takes over the game itself and it turns your puny little Arbo Elves into a big fat slate game. And then the sideboard, I kind of just slowly started changing things. I did a second Graph Digger's Cage because I've been running into a lot of Garuda and Neoform online, out of all things. Uh, so otherwise, I'd MTGO gave me two different copies of relics, but there's two relics for Genesis, and I think he had one cage, three relics. Uh, I just swapped into two to split because of Neoforming Gairuda, and cage does top Gairuda. Um, he also had like four life goes on, and I trimmed in one for an Anger of the Gods for just a lot of go wide decks. I added a Nature's Claim. I, I Someone else, I think, won the Modern Showcase with Green Red Midrange, and he had like two Nature's Claims. So I added one just to try it out, because um, I know those lists aren't running Trinisphere, and I've been just trying Trinisphere out, and Trinisphere has been really good. It's been really good against like all the burn and shadow decks that are really, really low to the ground. And even against something like, I ran against Infect yesterday, and just slamming a Trinisphere where they can't double protect their uh, creatures is really, really good. Um, uh, I only have one choke. I've been trying to think of think of maybe running two and then cutting one of the blood moons or just having a way to have two. I know a lot of the lists currently run two nowadays. But I think I'm sticking with one for now. See how the meta changes because I don't want to change too much. Uh, but I've been liking this list a lot. I've been going three twos and four ones. Um, two leagues ago, I was going. I went four zero oh, and for the I lost my five and zero oh round against Selfie Sack who was on Luris Burn and it was a really tight game. Um, I, I had a I had a turn two Clothus lined up on the draw, but he bolted my Arbor Elf and slamming a turn three Clothus on the Dragon's Burn is just too slow. Um, but yeah, this I really like this deck. This deck is really 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 fun and there's subtly a lot of lines that you can choose from, a lot of decision trees and I guess that's what I want out of the deck. But hopefully it'll perform today. Uh, I know my last stream I was trying out that Kiki Jiggy, um, High Axe combo, whatever it was. Um, I know so I know uh, Fluffy Wolf streamed it, and I think he went pretty well with it. Um, but I just was not a fan of such a fragile uh, combo and a deck that could potentially have, you know, it, it, the shell that I had can grind with anything, and that just kind of just took away the grind power. Um, I'm going to mold in this. There's... Just too many lands, doesn't do much. Doesn't have a payoff. Um on the play I like this hand on the draw, not so much just because um I have turn one interaction if I really needed it against like uh Punt did not reveal a companion. So I think I gotta just bottom this glory ringer. 
is this the only card that's not technically not castable? I could also see bottom range of the land. But I think I'm just gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna play Wooden Foothills. And the way uh, I'm gonna play Wooden Woodside Peak because I could always just pay a, get a stopper ground and I don't have a two drop, so if I do draw one drop, I can just fetch later. Ooh, dredge. Okay. Uh, that makes you really wish I had a one drop so I can start getting this cloth that's online. Hmm. Because a cloth that's on turn two would have been really good. <clears throat> Gotta turn off all of you. It's. Well, an ox and a conflagrate, that's pretty good for them. Okay, it's not bad for us. No dredgers yet, so. Uh, there's a thug, so the opponent draws a thug, and the opponent's been. Uh, Thug and low. So my opponent has been kind of whiffing of his dredges. If my opponent kept them one line, that'd be absurd. No, nope. sounds about right. Um, sadly, this cloth this is a little too slow. Oh man, if we had a turn two cloth this, we might have had a chance. This might be a little slow. Even though their dredges are pretty anemic, they're just gonna be able to like we they'll be able to dredge Stinkwood Imp and then escape the ox. And I think that might be a little too slow for us. Or a little too much for us on turn three. Yep, 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 yep. So they're going to bring back a Prize Amalgam and an Arc Amoeba. <laughs> How's it going, Andrea? <laughs> if, I was, if I'm the tallest MSL player, that would be pretty sad. <laughs> um, so I just hope my opponent forgets the Ox, which would be kind of unlikely. Luckily, we can bolt the ox and try to keep up. My opponent also doesn't have any green mana for life alone, so that's one thing. Oh, no, he just has a green mana, so. Oh, and he plays a tap. So he's probably just gonna ox, which is weird. I don't know why he wouldn't just ox first and see what happens. But I guess there's nothing in the yard to. Well, I guess he's gonna discard his hand and draw three cards. So we need this ox to be whiff, really, really whiff, pretty bad, which is pretty unlikely. We really needed to clot this on turn two. See, this is why he shouldn't have played the stomping ground first, because then he misses his blood gas triggers. He hasn't even attacked me yet, and all he does is just cast Chris Creeping Gel Triggers, I guess. Uh, so go to 7. Am I just dead? I'm probably just dead to a land. Yeah, I'm probably just dead. To, I'm just dead to land. Because he's going to dredge life, blow him back, bring back boom, and just get a bunch of land, and blah, blah, blah. It's kind of awful. Uh, post board, this matchup gets a little bit better, obviously, because we get the Yard Hate, and we get the Anger of the Gods. Um, uh, Magus of the Moon is like nice because it stops life from the moon shenanigans, but once they get a conflagrate in the board, then it gets kind of bad for us. So like Magus has like a pretty high floor where pretty low, a pretty low floor with pretty high ceiling. Um, I think I just have to start trimming stuff, like trim a moon. Uh, Bone Crusher Giant's a little anemic because it doesn't kill the Prize Amalgams technically, and there's nothing that we really, really want to shock. 
I can see a nature's thing coming in just to like kill a shriek horn, but that seems a little loose. Um, <laughs> you are so dead. <laughs> I was definitely, definitely very dead. Uh, I think trackers are a little too slow. Um, I think I'm doing commentary on Thursday. Um, I think that's what Mike told me because he told me his birthday is on Thursday and he specifically had me commentate on Thursday because he knows I can't give him too much shit on his birthday. <laughs> Which is really funny. Uh, I'm going to probably go down to two Maguses. Um, I think I really like the Love Strike Beast because they do block. Maybe I'll go down one lightning bolt, and then maybe shave a Spyro, like that. Yeah, I wonder if we're doing, because I remember last time we did pairs. I'm wondering if we're doing pairs or if we're doing uh, just like me, or if it's just like if we're doing it with Sean. Um... That being said, commentating with Sean was really fun last year. Uh, I need Demorgan to hate. That's that's great. <laughs> Two pieces of eight, eh? Two pieces of eight. I think he is. I would be surprised if he wasn't. Oh, he's he he's fantastic. Um, I'm gonna play the sprawl and my opponent thought sees is me thought sees is me but I'd rather just do this if you if you commentate with Sean he's he's a really really good guy I really like him sure opponent's gonna be like wow you drew two pieces of eight I'm gonna be like yep It'll be interesting this year. Did you like the triple format? The triple deck format? Because I was talking to Sodek about it, because I, and he, since he's like the dredge guy, he's just like, I mean, it's fine, it's whatever, it's just for fun, but at the same time, just like, man, like, <laughs> I could, like us who play like one specific deck, it's just like really, it's a lot harder for us. So how about a threat this time? A lightning bolt is not where we want to be here. Luckily we can just slam an Obosh next turn and this bolt deals six. Yeah, I think the old format was nice because we kind of got to interact with each other a lot more. We got like, we got to like spend a whole week to like chat and hang out versus like now it's like let's slam everything right now so it's like okay it's it's it's, it's a little bit more condensed oh i mean I, I guess i think it also depends on the person too because like i talked to fluffy wolf and fluffy wolf was a really cool guy uh we were just chatting about um just whatever and we actually played the same deck which is really funny uh in a league Sure. Hard cast Dinkweed up. Bold move, Cotton. Bold move. So my opponent's just gonna dredge a stinkwind him back. Just fine, I guess. 
Like, we can't really attack through the sneak items, which are kind of annoying. You know what would be really fun to do is if we did like a Team Ice versus Team Fire versus Team like new people. I think that'd be pretty fun. Because I think it's actually pretty even. Because it's like Sodek, me, Francisco, uh, Mike, and then it's like you, Garrett, um, who else was there? I think Ghost X Empire's still in it, right? So it's like, I think it's actually a pretty even split in terms of just like, uh, number of players on on the teams so ouch my opponent really should not be dredging i don't think unless my opponent has ancient grudge okay anger of the gods I think at this point, I'm just gonna have to wait until my opponent plays this other Stinko Dimp that he has in his hand that he dredged back. And then Anger of the Gods is the board away. Because he has like Imp and Thug in hand, unless he just doesn't play anything, which is kind of fair too. Sure. Uh, since I don't have Tyler's track in the main deck anymore, I'm just going to fetch. There's no payoff there. <laughs> okay. Um I think it's probably safe to wait one more turn. Um to anger the gods here. I, I think I can take three damage. Because I know my opponent's gonna play a thug. Sure. My opponent really should stop dredging. Unless he really thinks this is a viable game plan here. Which it might be. I mean, he could get to a point where he just starts hard casting creeping chills, I guess. I just hope he plays like another threat. But even then, like, he, I don't think. He doesn't have a fourth land, so I don't think he can. Arkash Keeping Chill unless he just had, eventually takes a natural draw. So that Blast Zone is actually a problem, so I'm going to exile here. <laughs> okay, well that's insurance. Because I don't want him to get rid of my cage. Gosh darn it. I just need a threat here. Because I think they only run, run one... Uh, blast zone. So he took a natural draw here. Hopefully it was just nothing. Okay. Finally got a threat. So we can win in four turns, that'd be nice. Opponent doesn't have another lightning axe or anything, that'd be pretty bad. Does not. So 
Sweet. So it turns out drawing two hate cards against Dredge is pretty good. <laughs> I think I just run it back. Don't think I want Nature's Claim. Because, like, I remember I was reading an article at Sodek Row where he was like, actively against um basic force so like magus the moon actually can do work but i don't think we want four i don't think we want three i think this is probably just fine love stark beast box pretty well i think that being said i don't think enough lists are running love stark beast turn two blood moon is not good enough i don't think Ralco Progenitus seems fine. Uh, I think I'm gonna bottom one of the sprawls. Oh no. I'm using a name Ralco Progenitus. I'm gonna be so sad. No. Don't do it. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna have to um, play the cage now, cause in case they go like cathartic reunion and just start like going off. <laughs> so me playing that two-two split of Grafdigger's cage is was pretty nice. No. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Um. So I'm gonna sprawl here. Name red. And then I can't catch Kitchen Finks anymore. If I name green, then I can catch Kitchen Finks, but I can't cast um, Season Pyromancer. Well, like if I name red, I can cast both Bone Crusher Giant and Lightning Bolt if I get. This is tough. I think I'm gonna name red here, and then if I and then we'll see if we draw another land, and then we can fetch then and make our choice then. Sure. So they have loan. So we have a mess in there, Castle Long. So Mesa and Stopping Ground. So they have six cards in hand. Cool. So now we can fetch a forest here. And have double green and double red. And we can cast this Magus and then just not pay a life for the foothills. <clears throat> oh, he's just gonna lightning axe. Ugh. Gross.
I don't know why he played that tapped if he's playing the oh he's just gonna he has another lum. Okay, so he has ground, gorge, mess though. One, two, three, four, five. So you know we so we know five of the six cards, I believe. Maybe we should have boarded in claims then. Just in case they have needle, that seems kinda loose. I think we just try to get aggro here, Bone Crusher Giant, and then just uh, stomp and Bone Crusher Giant him. Get a little aggro here, because Obosh plus this deals 8 damage. Okay, that's unfortunate. So, has thug. Please, Lamessa. Yeah, maybe I should hold the Bone Crusher Giant to stomp a imp. So I don't think my opponent has another lightning axe again. I doubt it. As we know three of the cards in their hand. I highly doubt they have it. So there's two chills left. <laughs> I am indeed a traitor. I'm sorry. Gorge. Kitchen Finks is a pretty good draw. Good draw because that means we start to gain life. Which we kind of actually awkwardly need now. And then we'll just play this relic. I guess why not? I awkwardly don't want to spend a bolt on this imp, which is kind of awkward. So there must be like a, a Narc Amiibo or like a Prize Amalgam in his hand. I didn't think like he would have discarded it with Lightning Axe. I don't know. Sure. Stomping Ground. So we have, we know two cards. So awkward. So awkward. Kind of 
kind of need a seasoned Pyromancer to kind of just refill our hand. The Glory Bringer would be a pretty good draw too. Because then we can bolt one of these imps, attack with the other Glory Bringer, attack for a lot. Eight. Yeah. Okay. So we brought back Loam. So he has three Loams in hand. So, Bloodstain Mire, Bloodstain Mire, Arid Mesa. Okay. Sure, you got it, buddy. Ground. Let's cast a loam. So, one, two, three, four cards. The last card must be like an Archimedia or something. Not a bad draw, but I don't think it's a game winning draw. I actually shouldn't have played that relic for Genesis, because if they get Blast Zone, like we kinda wanted to keep the relic in hand, which is kinda bad. That was actually a big misplay on my part. Should have not played the relic. Again. Hopefully my opponent's blast zone is like on the bottom of the library. That's all I can really hope for. Two, three, four. Play City of Brass. Oh, okay, well, I guess that's the last card, unless I missed it. <laughs> Kitchen Finks flooded. <laughs> Can never have enough kitchen finks, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so he has three loans in hand. Jesus. Oh my goodness. If I bolt the Stinkwood Imp, attack. I'm going to take 6, 12, well, the one that blocks will bosh, oh man, I don't know if I can attack here. They can just dredge back another Stinkwood Imp. I could always just bolt the one that blocks Obosh. Take 12, go to 9. I need like another bolt. That would be one of the key things to do here. 
think I just need to pass the turn again. That's why I didn't want to do that attack, because if he double blocks, then that just means like we're really screwed. Imp. Like, that would be the correct way to block it. I just don't know if he is going to. So, loam. So, he brings back cave, cave, Nessa. Okay. <clears throat> so, it brings back thug. Jeez. Uh, low. Man, our opponent is getting really low in the graveyard. Or, or in the library, I mean. Yep. King Magic 5, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it, buddy. So, Cast Loam brings back Cave, Cave, Foothills. Sure. <laughs> My opponent has sent cards in hand. How's it going, Noob Fragger? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we know all the cards in our hand. God, we needed that bolt last turn. So now... If we attack with all, he takes six, go to 14, and then we have 12, so we're two damage short. But he's not going to block the giant, though. He's gonna block. He's gonna block Obosh and Bone Crusher Giant. Like he's just gonna make all the blocks. It doesn't matter. Like he's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna block uh, one to one each time. He's probably just gonna line it up where it, the imp blocks Obosh and imp blocks Bone Crusher Giant, and then like whatever. It doesn't matter. And I also don't want to be naked on a crackback. Opponent has no blood gas in his graveyard, which is absurd. Oh, he has one. So if my opponent attacks next turn. I, I, 
I can't activate Relic of the Progenitus because he has Pithing Needle. The, what I'm really scared of right now is a, my opponent dredges with a Thug or a Loam and finds his Blast Zone. Cast Blast Zone, exiles Blast Zone, and then he doesn't have a Conflagrate. Oh, he has a Conflagrate in the yard. And he can just Conflagrate my board away. But he can't because he needs seven cards and Kitchen Fingers comes back. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out if I can just pass and wait. Like I don't think I can realistically attack anymore. All I really have to do is my opponent makes an awkward attack, and then I crack back with two bolts and uh, another creature that can attack back. So I think I just pass because like if I go all out attack and then he brings back a bunch of blood gas and I'm just dead. I just need to hope like the blast zone isn't like the top as like the bottom card of my opponent's deck. And I have bolts to protect myself too, worst case scenario. My opponent also has one creeping shell left, so I'm kind of at a virtual ten. Oh he had the blast zone now. Hmm. So, damn. It's a close game. She's gonna bring back the zone. Gosh darn it. So close. Yeah, I just need to hope my opponent doesn't have enough on a crackback. That's that's all I could really hope for. But my opponent does have... Um, So I need a glory bringer, but even then I don't have enough red. So I think I might have to like bolt at my opponent's end step here. My opponent has, oh my opponent has conflagrate too. Oh man, he's gonna conflagrate my old Bosch away. Yeah, let's see my foothills, bless him. No, but he just conflagrates my old Bosch and like my life. He just he doesn't need to um and I need my Obosh in play to uh deal enough damage on the crackback. My opponent's at twenty life. So he can do like five to old Bosch and like six to me. Yeah, it keeps things keeps me alive, but I'm trying to find a way to win the game. Cause like if I don't if I don't win next turn, my opponent's just gonna kill me the following turn. That's the problem. That was an interesting game. Even then, that doesn't win the game now. Let's have lethal now. <laughs> Casting Ancestor Recall. Like now, decking isn't a real option now because my opponent needs to dredge and then have another natural draw step, which doesn't make sense. Maybe my opponent did it. <laughs> Maybe. All at me? No way. Are you serious?
What? Um... Six, twelve, eighteen. Oh, I, I'm doing the math right, right? <laughs> six, six, twelve. Yeah, I just have lethal on the crackback. I just black like this and then bolt the two imps. I'm doing the math right, right? It's two damage, whatever. Yeah, I'm doing the math right. They will like double block just in case. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven,
bolt the swift sphere and sprawl my forest to make green? And then next turn play like Kitchen Finks or Clothis so my opponent doesn't have anything, which I doubt. Uh, let's just bolt this. Hopefully my opponent doesn't have like a Mutagenic Roll. If it has a Mutagenic Roll, then that's just like game over. I think that's the way Prowess beats up on us specifically is if they start running Mutagenic Roll because that just card just blows us out. Uh, haven't really played much of Magic since there was a first card in Hogak with Craze. Yeah, I think ever since Horizons came out, Magic is pretty, like, hard to play fair. And I think Lyris is a card that really gave us, as fair BGX players, tools to really, um, compete. It's just hard when Veil of Summer is there, where playing Discard is just pretty bad. <laughs> I think I'm gonna play Kitchen Finks. Hopefully my opponent does not have skull crack. <clears throat> and then next turn I could play Clothis plus Arbor Elf. What did you like to play, New Frager? Okay. I think I think when you stopped was when I kinda stopped streaming too. I think you and I kind of took a break around the same time. Sure, you got a Swiss Sphere. So now my plan shifts to Bone Crusher Giant this guy and, or sorry, Stomp this guy. And if I draw another, if I draw another red source, I'm, I'll gladly block here. Hmm. He's not the double Lava Dart to save it. But then he doesn't have Lava Dart for my second Finx. I think I like this block. Sure. It's funny enough, like, those Bring to Life Scape Shift decks are always just, like, randomly around still. Like, I still randomly just bump into it into in a league where it's just like, what the hell? Like, this isn't even, like, a tier deck. No one plays this deck, but, like, people love that deck for some reason. People love VTL Scape Shift. Um... Gosh, I really want to get this Clothis online, but I can't. Then again, there's nothing in the graveyard my opponent really wants to bring back. So I guess it doesn't hurt to play like Clothis plus Arbor off just to get like board presence. Because like this Lurus is really isn't doing anything. And it can't really attack into my Kinchin Vinx. And I have like Lurus to bring stuff back. Yeah, I think I like that line better. Like, I could Bone Crusher Giant and then just, like, kind of be naked to it, but, like, like this develops my mana for next turn if I have an Arbor Elf in play. And my opponent doesn't have any more Lava Darts. So, I'm going to play this Arbor Elf and play this Clothis. <clears throat> and then that way I can start gaining a lot more life starting next turn, too. Oh, and this guy can block, too? Nice! <laughs> Tinker Law with the KCI deck plus KCI ban. I think there is something there. Like, I, I like Scrap Trawler, I think, is still a pretty, like, as long as, like, I mean, they ban Mox Opal, which is kind of sucks. I guess maybe that's going to put the nail in the coffin. But I still think, like, if there's a way you can implement, like, Mox Amber, because, like, there's a, I think Spider Space is one that registered um, a Mox Amber combo deck with, like, Underworld Breach. And it's kind of like the same thing. And I think that's where you kind of want to go nowadays. And I think it's still really, really powerful. Because Under Underworld Breeze is just so broken. Like, it's just ridiculous. I don't know what Semblance Neville does. I will look it up after I sideboard.
what's FTZZ? I'm not familiar with what that acronym is. Um, I'm kind of tempted to just like board out two RLs and two. I mean, Love Strike Beast blocks well, but also doesn't um, can attack either. I think I can like shave two RLs and like t shave two Maguses because it's just like a red deck. I can also just cut all the Maguses and keep all the RLs. Maybe like go like this, maybe shave one elf and three maguses. It does magus does stop lures, but we just have so much removal that like we don't really care. Um oh sigh. Let's see what you use your real smith against you know, with all the draw. You can win turn one. Magus stuff I Magus does stop lures, but I I'd, I'd rather just have like I'm not in this specific matchup, I'm not scared of lures is my point. Um If if we don't have removal for lures then shame on us right because like i think the magus is just it's it's not a solid game plan to keep a max in play where i'd rather just trade a one for one with Luris and know that they have no way to recur it in this deck specifically um i could also just maybe just see keeping two going like this but i think on the draw i think i'd rather have three our elves and then just cut a magus and then just swap them on the play like on the play i'd rather have two elves and then make them load on my elf if they really want to, or bolt it. I think there's a shell there. There's a, there's enough powerful artifacts in modern New Prager where like, I think there is a deck that is possible uh, that is that can run all those combo pieces and be really good. I think no one just explored that yet. Oh, I think I can just cut a tracker. I think trackers are a little too slow. Actually, maybe I'll just keep up my two magazines. Two magazines, two elves. Make a nice decision in there. I would like Obash. Keep. This card ends their life. <laughs> like, we're going to take quite a few damage here on the first few turns, but this card just ends their life. <laughs> sure. And then we got a love strict please combo go in here. Oh god, really? That's really rude. Okay. Wow, I did not expect a wear tag of them. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out if it's worth it to like go green and do like Heart's Desire plus Arbor Elf here and be most mana efficient. I don't think it's worth it to not have red if they love our elf. So I think I'd rather I'd rather think long term here than short term gains of just having another one one in play. If that makes sense. <clears throat> Opponents also stuck on one land, so like this just ends their life if they don't draw another land. Oh no, no. They wear terrors again. I'm gonna be pretty sad. Yeah, fine, fine, you gotta love a dart. Fine, have it all. Here, eat that.
Don't draw another land. Thanks. Oh, I guess I should have. That's actually the better play. Yeah, I punted there. I just like my second league playing with Madrid and Spear, so don't mind me. Uh, one, two, three, one, two. That's actually a big punt there. Now I need to... I guess I just have to take another one. Nine. And if they lava spike me, then... I don't think they can afford to lava dart. So we're just going to do a little Arch Desire here. God, ah, that's so bad for us. Oh god, I, that was a big punt. Hopefully I don't get punished. No. Yikes. Six, four. I think I have to go to three and then to two. Magus of the Moon. I think I'm gonna have to fetch here too. Oh god, me not heart desiring first might have cost me the game there. Gosh darn it. Oh uh, why? I don't think I can attack. Life is an instant. So they're gonna Magus here and then make them crack if they want to, and then that way I can just attack. Charm. Gosh darn it. I could have won that game too. So sad. Oh man. Oh, I should heart desired first. Oh my gosh. I'm so sad. The, 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 I mean, we should have won this game. Like that that probably would have cost me because I wouldn't have taken the 3 damage. I would be at 5 and I'd be able to stabilize here. Ah, uh, that's that's frustrating. Oh well, game three, game three. Um, uh, God, these armor elves are just not that great. I think we just roll it back. Actually, it's fine. <coughs> <clears throat> Golly. Sure. Don't think we can mulligan this particular hand.
Guess we just bought him Glory Bringer. Buy an awesome Logan to six, that's good for us. I think I might just save two life and just play Stomp Ground Tap and the next turn play Heart's Desire plus and hold up Bolt. I don't think there's any. I don't think me casting a 1 1 on turn 1 is a big enough payoff. I can also see the argument of just like bolting and life goes on in this turn, but I think it's just better mana to do it this way. Where we just uh, bolt and heart's desire. on turn two okay life goes on is pretty well positioned right now that's for sure there is a little bit of anti-synergy anti with this because like this and in anger of the gods um if you anger the gods of board away, this you don't get the die trigger, which is kind of annoying. But sweet, we can gain eight life. Wow, that's really rude. Hopefully, we draw something good here. Kitchen Finks would be good. That would not be a good draw. Because we can't attack. Mm. Oh, Searing Blaze? Yeah. That's not good. We need a draw. We need some help here. We need we need a glory bringer. We need a uh, a lightning bolt, a uh, bone crusher giant. Oh man. Bosch is a source. Got it. Oh, it's it's uh and land cards. Oh my god, did we literally just draw all lands the whole game? I think my opener was Lustric Beast like was on Utopia Spropel, three lands. Mm. I have a lot of life, but they're just gonna outgrind us with Loris now at this point. Maybe I should have spent the ball on the Soul Scar Mage. I'm not like too scared of it, but I didn't want my Love Strike Breeze to shrink. That's the thing. Yeah, sure. Sweet. 
So we need like anger to the gods off the top, and then we can kind of crawl back into this because like the seal of fires don't really like we can grind through seal of fires. So we need to go like anger to the gods into like kitchen finks. A single kitchen finks won't be able to do it. We need to go anger to the gods into kitchen finks. Oh my god. So this will force them to spend both the Sailor Fires here. I think I just double block here. Don't care about Soul Scar Mage. That way they can't. This way we effect we effectively trade off Lurus here. So that attack was actually really bad for our opponent. I think now we just now that like we don't really need an anger of the gods per se. Does my opponent not realize Obosh? Oh no. Okay, that's fine. I'll take that. Glory Bringer. Oh my god, that's not good. Like, my, that that bad attack by opponent means we're not dead yet. Couple and guide, sure. Oh no, sure. Kitchen Finks would be a good draw here. Glory Ring would be a good draw. Thanks. Thanks, Goblin Guide. Appreciate it, buddy. <sighs> we literally drew just Magus as our only normal card. That being said, we're not, we're not, we're not in that bad of a position. Like, assuming our opponent doesn't have anything, like we'll take three a turn. Like, I'll take that. Like, we could easily draw out of this. <laughs> Thanks. Oh God. <laughs> sure. So we go to eight. We go to four. Please, something, anything. That's too slow. So we need them to have exactly nothing. Wow, that's. I mean, I should have won game two. That was my fault. But game three, that's just pretty infuriating. Oh well. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. I'm gonna be right back.
Alrighty. Oh well. I mean, the fight with Jim is dead, but I mean, that was still a fun game, and I think I... Like, I like this type of magic where, like, my mistake cost me the game versus just, like, my interaction, like... Like, I'd rather have what all my decisions make actually matter, not just, like, oh, I just gotta get a turn three car or whatever. So, like, I'll take losing based on my mistake versus just, like, not be able to do anything. That being said, like, the last game, like, drew nothing but land, which is pretty annoying, but, I mean, that's just magic sometimes. On to game three. Mr. Jangles. I think I've played against this guy before. Name kind of rings a bell. Um, companion. Oh, Bosh. Is this the mirror? This is the mirror. You gonna blood moon me? You gonna magus moon me? Do it. Do it. That's pretty bad for us. Oh my god, are we just gonna not draw anything but lands? So this is, I've seen this version too, where um, I think they have Goblin Ravel Master instead of like Lustric Beast. It's kind of interesting. God, we're gonna take a beating here. Cause like this, this is a lot more aggressive obviously cause I'm taking a shit ton of damage here. I'm taking six. So seven over the course of two turns. I guess it really depends on the meta, because if it's like an aggro meta, I think Love Strike Beast is better, but in an aggressive meta, or in like a combo meta or a big meta meta, obviously Goblin Rav Master is better, just because it's more aggressive. Oh my god, we're not going to win this game, are we? Figures. Figures. This is MG Joe punishing me for making that mistake. I'm not heart desiring before uh, my Trinisphere. Oh god, now they're gonna bosh me. Or if Glorybringer would be pretty bad. Interesting. I wonder what the benefit is of running this in Ponzo. They just like filtering, I guess. Like if you're like flooding really hard. And then now is our kitchen things just stonewalling? They're they're bored. Oh, hopefully. And we just like block here. And they slant glory ringer. It's still okay because then we can still block the golem Album master. It's cool. Oh, they turn clothis online. That's pretty gross. Man. So eight, nine, ten, eleven. Gosh, golly. We we have to block here. Um. I think we're just dead because the cloth is still four to us now. I think we're just gonna concede. I don't want to reveal anything. 
I don't I don't think we have an out. We're just caught this in a wash with our hand there. Um, Rob Vassar's making want to bring in the Angers. Just brought the Magus of the Moon, so not doing anything. Thing is, like, I didn't see Kitchen Finks or stuff like, um, Season Pyromancer, so, like, I would be kind of intrigued to bring in the Relics. Um, you, I kind of want an Unravel the Aether instead of Nature's Claim, maybe. Maybe I should try that card. Does Unravel, Unravel the Aether or, like, Deglamour or whatever instead of Nature's Claim? Relic doesn't target it. Like, it, they can just choose their own stuff in their graveyard, and that's why I don't like Relic. Like, I can I can like Relic if they have, like, Kitchen Finks or, like, Seasoned by Amazer, we can exile it. Maybe that is just better than Magus of the Moon. Because I just don't think a 3-mana 2-2 two -two is good enough in this matchup. So let me just go like that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's fair. I mean, I think... Uh, two mana cycle that I might have some upsides better than a three mana two two in those matchups, so that seems that's a very fair, fair assessment. Uh, man, if they pillage us, we are so fucked. All the greed. Don't pillage us. I actually don't like running pillage unless we're in the mirror. I just don't, I just, as like, as a mid-range deck, I, I don't think attacking their lands does anything. Please draw land, 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 please don't pillage me. Don't, if they pillage us, I'm just gonna concede. This name we're dead. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> and that's just magic sometimes. It's just one of those things where some you'll have these leagues where it just like this happens. And it's frustrating because like I'll go on some hot runs off stream and then I kinda wanna shelve this deck because I'm like I really like this deck and then the deck just doesn't perform as much as I would like as well as I would like. Don't pillage me, dude. That'd be so sad. Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean if he had pillage you'd I think it'd be like the snap play. Okay. So that's pretty ballsy because that means he's kind of assuming that I don't have Blood Moon and Bl or Max of the Moon because it would just fall off. Okay, sure. I cannot block. I have no creatures. <clears throat> That's why I just anger the gods, right? I don't want to play anger the gods when I have kitchen fix and tireless strike in hand. Yeah. I mean, this that that card is exactly why I board in anger the gods this is because of Golden Rattle Master. And if my opponent just lands a glory bringer, I think we're just dead. I don't think we can race the glory bringer. I don't think I can mold in this hand either. Not in this type of matchup where we're just the upside's just so high. Like this, is, this is, it's like it's pretty much a mid range mirror and just like mulligan and when you can have cloth this with just like a middle breaker, I think it's just worth it. I think I just slammed cloth this now. And hopefully I can write this cloth as a victory. My opponent does not want to play as a Bosch. Interesting.
He's going to get an Emrakul. Got it. He's just going to get an Emrakul. That's fine. Then we're just not going to draw a third land. Or a second land. Oh, that's frustrating. Frustrating, but it's okay. Let's try to get that 3 2. I think streaming in this deck is just like bad voodoo. <laughs> like, I do so well off stream with this deck, and then when I am on stream, it just like shits the bed. Um, I guess a Luris deck. I think I'm gonna mold in this. This is really painful. It's not very thought seize proof. I mean, I guess. If it's against Burn, this hand is bad. If it's against like John, this hand's okay. But I think it's just I think it's worth a mulligan here. I actually really like the God damn it. Okay, well I actually really like the Beast. I think Beast is really good. Uh, against Luris, I think Lur Madison is actually bad against Burn and John and Seal of Fire. I actually really like the Beast. Ooh. In fact, sure. So Magus on the Moon would have been pretty good here. Gets Ink Moth Nexus. Um, I'm not going to bolt this Vault Skirt, so I'm just going to pass. Stone Quail Serpent. So just like regular affinity. It's kind of cute, I guess. That's annoying. Here, I think we just need to dig. So I think we're gonna play Season of Pyromancer and pitch two lands. I can also pitch a Clothis. I think the line is definitely Season of Pyromancer. Discard maybe the Finx. It's like Land Finx or Land Clothis. I think maybe Land Clothis. I think Clothis might be a little too slow. Or give me Spyro Finx. I need I need to pretty much essentially dig from Agus of the Moon or Bolt. So maybe I need to keep the Spyro and hope to dig again. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe we'll pitch cloth this on a land. No, but we kind of want to hit our land drop, so let's just discard these two because they don't do much. Okay, well, we just drew into another Finx, but. One, two, three, four, five. So we are dead to. We're dead next turn if they just animate Ink Moth and attack with the plating. Um, I'm 
So we need a fetch here. Got a stomping ground. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spiral for a bolt. Just trying to figure out if I want to play the sprawl or for the or or the land. I think I just want to get the tokens. So I think I'm gonna keep the land. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pretend I have the bolt. Make him have it. That's a good draw. Sure. Yep. Which which worked out. Like we are not dead now. Uh, oh, no attack. Um, I think we spiral here. Probably just go to Finks again. Yeah. <laughs> I could also just discard the two lands. How's it going, buddy? I think the Fink's life might actually matter here. Oh, God. We're spiral flooding and not doing anything. <laughs> How is the uh, testing that Kiki Jiki uh, list holding up for you since the last time I talked to you? I think it's been a couple of days or almost a week, right? I like this list. I'm not doing so hot on stream right now, but I've been going 4-1 and 3-2 and, um, consistently. This league, I'm starting off 1-2, but my loss to Burn was probably my own fault. It was definitely my own fault. No! What, what were your matchups in the challenge? I'm just going to concede. What is the key change? Did you cut Spiros? Because I really don't like Spiros on that list for sure. Uh, this, Nature's Claim. Trainster might be a little too slow on the play. Or on the, it might be too slow just in general, this matchup. Probably cut the Lost Drug Beast and... Blood Moon seems fair. Tracker might be too slow. Clothus might be too slow. I might just borrow the Clothus is. Just go like that. Might just go like that. How many Spyros are you still running though? Because I honestly think you can find a lot of other things that are better than the Spyro. I think I'd rather just have like three Eternal Witnesses than like three Spyros. Thought this is ramp, but it's like slamming it. Like I kind of need to accelerate on one drop. Maybe it is better on the play. I think I'd rather just have tracker. I think I have a one-one split. Last. Yeah, but then like that means we're just totally ignoring whatever board presence they have, and it's like I'd rather just not do that. Because at least tracker can block if I really really needed to. I 
I don't know. I think I'd be on zero Spyro. I have maybe one or two, but I would not run three, I don't think. I think Spyro would just kind of decentralize with the rest of your list, just based on playing it. Oh my god. Um, I think I have to just mulligan this. Um, god, this hand is not going to beat Affinity, but... Also, I'm well in a five. Is it gonna be a definitive either? I think I have to keep Glorybringer. We just bought him a land. I should just not play his deck on stream, apparently. <laughs> sure. You got it. Ah, oh, that's fair. That's a good draw. Play the forest first, because I don't know. If I draw another land, then it kind of determines what land the mag is here. Hopefully they just play like a Ravager. They go all in on. Steal Overseer, sure. That's fine. Bold move, Cotton. Bold move. It actually sucks because it actually makes our Bone Crusher and knock one adventure, which is kind of annoying. But, okay, that's good. So then, knowing that, I'm going to get a forest here. <clears throat> I could also just cast Kitchen Finks. Um. Just because I don't feel like they're going to attack with the Nexus next turn. Because they can't create a plane attached to it. That would be like a really anemic turn for them. Sure. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. So what you're telling me is any threat you draw is going to hurt a lot. That's what you're telling me. I got it. And you could also just play Luris and equip it, I guess. That'd be a big boy Luris. Oh no. Oh my god. That was a turn. So they pretty much need a sack of plating to make the Jimber group survive. I, I, I don't know. I mean, people kind of are weird about naming decks and such. Like, look at the deck we're playing right now. We're calling it Affinity, but it has literal zero Affinity cards in it. So I think, like, decks evolve and but the name sticks with the deck right so like you could you could say why are you calling the opponent's deck affinity if it's has no affinity cards why are we still called ponzo if we don't have any land destruction spells in it 
Um, and I think it's just fair to call it Gruul Midrange. I mean, it's I think it's fair to call our opponent's deck Robots. But then, like, I don't think it's bad to call my deck Ponza or our opponent's deck Affinity. I think it's kind of the same boat. Uh, I think I just Glorybringer and just hope they don't save it. I agree. That's the correct line. It's just a matter of like, we don't have another option. We just gotta hope they don't do that. Okay, they don't do that. Wow. That was incorrect by our opponent. Because now we just have infinite chum blockers with Kitchen Finks. Oh, they could just bring him back, Luris. I'm so dumb. So how do we win the game from here? I don't. I don't want to attack with the Magus. Yeah, it seems pretty good, to be honest. The mana seems kind of terrible. Just gonna concede here. That's what that one um, combo is running with um, Underworld Breach. It's like uh, Grinding Station, Luris, Underworld Breach, and then you... Um, you get infinite mana, technically not infinite mana, but you get enough. Ma you generate a mana every time you you bring a Mox Opal back with uh, Grinding Station, and then you just play Thassa's Oracle after you mill yourself. So there's like you don't need Mox Opal. It's actually Mox Amber that's actually better with it. There's like a combo deck built around it. Well. We started off great, and then I punted against Burn, and then just we just the rail we just got off the rails, which is unfortunate. This deck just does not want to perform on stream. Oh my god, this tan is awful. Tan's better. Turn to Magus or turn to. I'm not in this hand ship until you find me. <laughs> I'm gonna bottle forest. Hopefully you're against Tron or something dumb. Doesn't component deny our villain companion. Okay. Okay. So Scalding Tarn with no companion. I just think I'm just gonna slam a Clothus here. I haven't tried Corsair Prefix. I have not. I don't think I like a card that, I don't know, I think it depends on the meta too. And I think I like Lovestruck Beast rather than Corsair. Like, Lovestruck Beast has just won me so many games where I just needed to race. It could be a blue moon. It could be blue moon. Yes, just keep playing your ops so it feeds my cloth is. That'd be great. Thank you. It could be storm, which would be very bad for us too. It's starting to look more and more like Storm. 
<laughs> top top's bad for us. I don't think the mana can support Lurus, to be honest. I think I'm gonna cast Season Pyromancer here and just try to dig for something. Like a bolt, land plus bolt. So I can like kill our mana dork if they have it. Yep, this is definitely Storm. Are we dead? Non Pokemon Storm, are we dead? I don't like that line. I think I'd rather try. Because, like, that's like going track into Glorbing your next turn, like, we're not going to survive two turns. So, like, we need to worry about surviving this specific turn, which would be land plus bolt, and that's why I picked that. I'm just going to concede, because my opponent definitely has, uh, it's deterministic now. Like, I'm going to pick a line that makes us win the game versus, like, or, like, survive versus, like, not be able to survive, if that makes sense. Um, so I just go like this. So, Yard Hate, Transfer, and Anger to the Gods for... Empty Warren's tokens. Uh, Magus of the Moon seems pretty poor. Uh, Lustric Breach is pretty poor. Yeah, I was thinking about Veil of Summer versus Gifts again, but it's like specifically for Gifts and Given. Also, I guess you can, like, if they try to remand us too on the play, it's like maybe it's like one Veil of Summer, maybe. Maybe two Grab Diggers cages are too much. Maybe I should bring like one Veil of Summer. Yep, that's fair. That's fair. Maybe just go like that. Born out of Finx, maybe. Maybe we unlock cages too. We could also just be oversight wording here. Drop Finx, yeah. You just go like that. Just bring the cages in. Like this, I'll just do that. No, let's just do that. Um. I don't think this hand does enough. This hand is exactly what I want. <laughs> uh, a bottom of land. Uh, name red. Green. What are you doing? Let me train a sphere. I actually like really like train sphere in this deck. I kind of want to go up to two in the sideboard. Wow. Well. I'm glad I uh, led with that. So 
So I think we just slam it. Hold up veil. Veil of Summer would have been very nice. Ouch. Play the Trinner Sphere. Hopefully it's enough. Clock going. It's going to be close. Opponent needs like a draw spell. Oh, he topped with op. That's not good for us. So he probably topped with op. So, 8, 16, 16. So, we kill him next turn. Because we can crack a clue plus uh, stomp. I want to make sure I don't exert it, because that would be bad. So then you like balance our tennis here plus just go off. So them having our ear frame is kind of scary. We only have like one removal spell for it. We could bring in Choke. here and I'm gonna wait on a stomp and wait for my opponent to tap out So repeal is another reason why Veil Summer is pretty good. I 
It kind of makes me wonder if I should even have, like, all these yard hates and these anger the gods. Like, I kind of want just choke, maybe? Support of the nature's claim. Or on the choke. Maybe just cut the graft diggers' cages. You can also just cut the finks. I just keep one cage in. I think I want two angers if if I'm gonna want angers two angers if we're worried about empty of the warrens. I don't want to rely on a one of to wipe the board. <clears throat> Something like this. Golly. Golly. Nope. Sure. I think I bought him Bolt. Bolt and Elf, probably. And hopefully, Season Pyromancer undoes our Mulligan here. I could see keeping bolt too in case they have a mana dork. Yeah, but I think I'd rather have. I have the yard eight, so they can't really effectively go off. I don't think. I kind of just want a relic here, if anything. Next time we go relic plus cage. That was lucky. That was lucky. I think I want to play cage. More than relic, because cage stops in right now. Hmm. So them passing is good for us, I guess. Hmm. I'm scared because they could just go all out and just empty us here. So I think I'm just gonna. I, I could play Spire, but I think I want to play this Relic too and hold up mana for it. And then if they like try to go for an empty of the Warrens, and we can. Um. Try to cantrip into it. On the beat down. You got it. Land would be good here because then we can go Bone Crusher into Spyro. I 
like so. I'll make him do it now. I could spiral first. Do you're probably right. Yeah, that training spear would have been good. <laughs> but I have a feeling they have a bunch of counter spells in hand. Yep, that would have been nice. <laughs> My sequencing is not that good on stream today. Veil would have been nice too. So they have all the man in the world. I don't really care. So we just give them the mana. I don't want them to draw a card or have access to the empty when I have Grab Digger's Cage in play. I could have also just held up Relic. That was probably wrong for me to tap out there. He doesn't do a response. Just gonna have six here. GG. Oh my gosh. I cannot do better than one for on stream with this deck, which is really frustrating because I'm doing very well off stream with it. But that's just, I guess, just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, well. Maybe I should just do re league replays with this <laughs> Instead of actually streaming it. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Um... We played against Storm. Uh, play lost against burn. We beat dredge, so it was dredge burn, dredge burn. Uh, the mirror. And in an affinity, that was what it was. I wonder if like Unravel the Aether is just better than Nature's Claim. Or like Deglamour. I think they're the same thing. Just like there's all the ones that run like Welding Jar just kind of like bypasses it. So I might just do this over like a Nature's Claim maybe. I do see people like board this. And against like burn and they can like nature scan their own utopia scroll, but I think that's a little too cute. I think we have life goes on for that. Excuse me. Yeah, I, that last turn I should have spiraled into a trinity sphere and then slammed trinity sphere. And if they have the counter spell, they have the counter spell that like stops them. That was definitely the correct play and a misplay on my part, just bad sequencing. Yeah. 
I think I saw list run two in a row, like two nature's claims. So I can just see cutting one blood moon for it. But oh well, I mean, still tuning the list. I've only started playing this week, this deck for like maybe less than a week, so still kind of tweaking to what I like. I I do really like the Love Struck Beast. I think Love Struck Beast is really really good. Um, I might try other slots though over it, but I think for right now, I think that it's just it's just been really super friendly because like with Obash it deals five damage, which it deals ten damage, which is like when you need a clock like against like Gyruda and when like turn two Love Struck Beast, um, and then slammed a Gyruda or uh, slammed an Obash on turn four and just like doing ten damage is is huge compared to like all the other sets that we have. Um, I also just like it's a subtle two for one too. Um, yeah, I think that's just it. Like, I, I think it's just, I think I misplayed against Burn and I misplayed against Storm that last game. I think I slanted Trinisphere. If I went Spyro first and not Bone Crusher Giant, I went Spyro first and then slammed that Trinisphere I drew, I don't think my opponent would have been able to win that game from there. Just based, unless he had a bounce spell in his hand, which I doubt. Because he had the, well, I guess he had the, um, the um the braid for my craft Darker's cage so he would have abraded the trinisphere but he would have slowed him down so much and at that point i would have a craft Darker's cage when he had a pass pass and flames in, in hand so like he wouldn't have done anything like he would have dealt me a crap ton of damage but he wouldn't have won the game i don't think but oh well that's how it crumbles yep i'm done streaming for tonight um i'm gonna probably stream later this week also same deck, some changes. Uh, hopefully I can actually have a winning record on stream with this deck. It's just bad luck. Uh, I swear to God, like, my history of this deck is actually pretty good. Uh, I think I went 3-2 last league. So I went... So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5. So if you go look at Shellington above, I went 3-2 here. Oh, I think I punted against one of the next two. I think I punted against Jun, which is really frustrating. And then, and then if you look at this above here, I went 4-1. Four, four, I lost playing against Selfie Stick on Burn. It was a really close game. Um, two, three, four, five. And then above, I went 3-2 uh, again. One, two. Yeah, so it's like... And then before, I went 4-1 again, too. So it's like, this deck is doing good for me. It's just... On stream, it just it's cursed, <laughs> but I just I guess just how it goes. Two leagues and it's not it's shit in the bed. But alrighty, I'm gonna go get some lunch. Uh, I appreciate everyone for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you guys want uh, more content and want to support the stream, you can follow me on Twitch. That's twitch.tv. That's ko diamonds, and you can follow me on Twitter. That's ko diamonds twenty two at Twitter. Alrighty, guys, I really appreciate it. Take it easy, guys. Hope you guys can stay safe, stay home, stay healthy. Appreciate it, guys. Catch you guys later. Bye.